Lack of clean water presents more problems than the eye. It affects health, education, economy, family, and much more. It's our human right to have water, and yet so many people go every day without it. When most people think about lacking water, they think about people being legitimately thirsty, but that's often not the case. The issue most often lies with the fact that they don't have access to sanitary water. Um, many people get their water from poor sources, such as streams, unprotected wells, or stagnant ponds. In the United States, the average American uses 100 gallons of water. Yet in places like Sub-Saharan Africa, they only use 2 to 5 gallons of water every day. So picture yourself only using 3 gallons of water a day. That, would only, that wouldn't even leave time for a quick 5 minute shower. By simply running your faucet for a minute, you use 2 gallons of water. Um, to put some things into perspective, 713 gallons of water going to making one cotton t-shirt, um, 1,000 gallons of water going to producing one gallon of milk, and sit around 634 gallons of water going to making a hamburger. Um, many people in the developed world like us don't take water for granted simply because they don't understand the magnitude um, of water, how much water it takes to make things, and they're unaware of the disparities and the consequences um, that a lack of water brings. There are currently 780 million people without access to clean water. That's 2.5 times the population of the United States um, do not have access to clean water. Although this is a global problem, only 10 countries represent um, the largest two-thirds of the lack of water in the world. Um, these countries are China, India, Nigeria, Ethiopia, Democratic Republic of Congo, Bangladesh, the United Republic of Tanzania, Kenya, and, U and uh, Sudan. 3.4 million die every year from waterborne illnesses, which is almost a million more people than the population of Chicago. Um, every 21 seconds, a child dies from a waterborne illness. Um, so during this five minute, minute presentation, 14 lives have been taken um, because they don't have access to clean water. According to a UN report, more than 10% of global health issues could be solved by access to clean water. From my experience in the developing world, I can vouch for the fact that the majority of the things you see could be solved simply by giving a community access to clean water. Um, some of these issues include malaria from poor storage of water. Um, it breeds mosquitoes. Um, intestinal problems from contaminated water, also typhoid from contaminated water. Um, parasites from infested water, and then skin conditions either because um, they're bathing with unclean water or they're simply not bathing because they don't have access to water. Um, as far as education is concerned, limited access to water is a huge factor. Um, for starters, like I said, illness is extremely common and causes um, many children to miss school um, multiple times a week. Uh, according to a UN report, 443 million school days a year are lost um, due to water-related illnesses. Also, women are expected to take large chunks of their day um, to walk long distances to collect water, so they can't always um, get to school that day if, if they need water. Um, the majority of the 121 million children that are currently out of school are girls because of the fact that most of the time um, they're taking on family responsibilities such as getting water. Along with missing school, women often can't work or take care of their family um, because of the time spent getting water. According to a World Health Organization and um, a UNICEF joint venture report, um, they determined that women and children bear the primary responsibility in the family um, for getting water. Um, that's time they could be spending at work generating income, they could be spending with their families, or they could be spending at school. Um, it states that around 152 million hours a day are spent by women and girls collecting water simply for domestic um, abuse. So from an economic standpoint, water causes um, monetary stresses on many poor families. For those living in poverty in cities, 
Um, they pay five to ten times more to get their water than the wealthy people do in the cities because they don't have access. So, for example, in Honduras, in the wealthy parts of the cities, um, families have access to city water. Now, they might only get it for three hours a day every other day, but they have access to it. Whereas those who live in the slums have to pay um, for their water from private contractors. Um, they drive around trucks and they get it off the back. Um, but the funny thing is that water isn't sanitary normally. Um, so they're paying for water that they're still going to have to boil um, before they use to cook and clean and things like that. Um, so that's kind of what one of those trucks would look like. Progress is being made towards a better future. Um, the UN Millennium Development Goals, which were goals set by the United Nations to eradicate poverty, um, put into action concrete and measurable goals um, for water sanitation improvement and um, increased access to water for all. Um, by 2015, the goals should be reached, but that still leaves millions of people without access to water. Um, therefore, it's stripping them of their right to education, to family, health care, and much more.